Okay, I'm Eric Dollard, and uh, the subject is the advanced seismic warning system that I developed out of the technologies of Tesla and Alexanderson. It has been tested to be a 48-hour advanced warning for significantly large earthquakes, so it doesn't give a false indication on smaller ones. And it appears to be the only advanced seismic warning system in existence that actually functions. EPD Labs is our organization for research and development of the technologies that surround the works of Tesla and Alexanderson, and is specifically orientated towards a Bell Telephone philosophy. Its philosophy was what they build works. Well, it is what the name implies. It, it gives a electrical output in advance of an earthquake, which can be used to actuate alarms or you can actually study the sounds of the earth that developed the earthquake electrically for scientific purposes but it's a receiving structure that receives electrical impulses from the inside of the earth and then analyzes them through analog networks and then provides that analyzed output to various indicating devices. What's different about it is it works. There's nothing else that works. That's from the operational standpoint. From the te technical net standpoint, no one has developed transmission networks like this before that are capable of receiving wideband bandwidth signals from the interior of the Earth without being interfered by signals from the outside of the solid mass of the Earth. Well, the main thing is to limit the magnitude of the disaster. And that can't happen just by telling everyone that we're going to have a giant earthquake and let them freak out. So the only reasonable way to apply the specific engineering technology is to, for the utility companies and transportation and what have you to be ready to scale things down really quickly when the indication is given that there's going to be a major seismic event, such as, uh, you know, gas lines and power lines and railways and these kind of things. The only thing you can really do is minimize the size of the fireball. There's no way you can prevent the earthquake and there's no way that the general public can be expect, expected to reasonably respond to the disaster without causing another disaster of even larger proportions. So that's one of the reasons why there's a lot of opposition to this type of prediction because uh, ultimately there really is no way to save everybody's life. The only thing you can do is get ready for the disaster and minimize the damage and be ready to deal with the casualties afterwards. Yeah, there's still, at, by the end of the year, there will be a system that demonstrates the overall engineering layout and, and it works. Now, as far as having, you know, fancy spectrum analyzers and mechanical seismographs and all these things to give a full level display, that's, that's all very, very far off. But it'll prove the point. It'll, it'll, it will demonstrate what is going on and, and in the event of a major earthquake within a few hundred miles of that location. The real critical thing here is why we need to get a research grant and really be able to move heavily forward with this is statistically uh, California, most likely Southern California, is going to be hit by a massive earthquake. Uh, quite possibly by the end of this decade, and it would really be good if somebody start thinking more seriously about this. So, uh, the system has been tested to work. This is not an experimental system. There's no doubts. It's fully engineerable. It has been built, and it does work. Even for earthquakes distant as the giant Japan earthquake, which the system was never designed to receive on an underground level, even on the overground level, uh, there was a 48-hour advance warning of that from uh, the uh, what's called a noise storm that came in via the ionosphere which could only be from two sources either an earthquake or a hurricane and it did not have the waveforms of a hurricane it was definitely an earthquake but without multiple receiving stations
This is a serious situation that needs to be developed. And I don't know how to get over that hurdle. This is a serious situation that needs to be developed. And I don't know how to get over that hurdle.